How to build a thriving entrepreneurial ecosystem anywhere. Please, please meet Wences Cazares, from sheep farmer to one of the most influential individuals in the entrepreneurial ecosystem in Argentina. He was born a sheep farmer in Patagonia, and when he was 20 years old, he caught the entrepreneurial bug. He started the first internet service provider company in Argentina, and three years later started Patagon, an online broker firm. Um, with the help of Endeavor, he sold Patagon to Santander for $585 million, and that was only three years after he first pitched his ideas. He immediately became a world acclaimed uh, entrepreneur and a mentor to many buddy entrepreneurs. He is a household name in Argentina and an international role model. Today, he's the CEO of Zappo, which is a Bitcoin vault and also a Bitcoin debit card. You may have also heard about Silicon Valley, not the geological formation that was built or created many, many, many years ago, but the tech ecosystem, as we all know or think about. Um, Silicon Valley, as we know it today, the tech ecosystem was born about 60 years ago and sprung out for about three companies. One of them is depicted in this really cool picture, Fairchild Semiconductor. Here in this infographic, the size of the bubbles depict how much influence each of these organizations has had in the ecosystem. And as you can see, we're using Fairchild in the center to show how an ecosystem can be built. The lines connecting means there is a connection between or some interaction between those companies, either through mentorship, investment, and others. This is a very simplified model of the maps that you'll see later on. Uh, and it picks a very specific industry. We would not be able to talk about all the industries and all the technologies that sprung initially from companies like Fairchild. Let's get a little bit more complex now as we go forward, and we'll use a modern example. I'm sure you heard about PayPal, and many of you might have even used it today. I'll introduce you here to the PayPal Mafia. All of these execs went on to join other companies. Each of these individuals played a differential role in the creation and the amplification of the ecosystem in the valley. The 14 founders and executives from PayPal went on to create and or join 11 other companies. Elon Musk from Tesla, as you well know, is one of the international role models for innovation. Reid Hoffman is credited by many as one of the best mentors anyone could have. Roloff Botha joined Sequoia Capital and continues to invest and inject capital in early stage companies and in ideas. Dave McClure, a former employee of PayPal, went on to create 500 Startups, an internationally acclaimed organization. Well, let's return to our friend Wences and look more um, profoundly into his story. When he first started as an entrepreneur, there was very little connectivity and very little happening in the tech ecosystem in Argentina to really help and be able to assist him in bringing his vision into reality. Even, though, even so, he forged on and created Patagon in 1997. It's interesting to note that he was rejected by 34 investors. He didn't have role models. He didn't have mentors. He didn't have the right last name in Argentina. He joined Endeavor in 1998, a global organization that exists to really be able to connect entrepreneur with the five key pieces of the puzzle we've been talking about. In 1999, Winces was able to raise $4 million in equity to scale his company from a startup to a big organization. The following year, he sold Patagon or 75% of Patagon to Santander for 585 million, becoming an investor in Mercado Libre, becoming mentor to so many other organizations, and inspiring new companies to be formed. He instantly transformed into a role model for buddy entrepreneurs. Once this became, as an investor at Mercado Libre, he helped grow that company, which today is a decacorn, um, and also, as Mercado Libre grew, expanded its influence in the ecosystem and 
pretty much as Wednesday State, pay it forward by mentoring, investing, and being role models for other organizations. This graph may look chaotic right now, but it really demonstrates how the five key pieces of an ecosystem can come together to support the growth of the ecosystem. If these pieces are fostered and really nourished by organizations, the, it's possible to catalyze and grow these ecosystems even faster. We used a different color here to be able to show you that three entrepreneurs influenced over 80% of an ecosystem, in which today, together, represent close to 1% of the GDP in Argentina. This is another way to look at how Wentz has influenced the ecosystem and how he was really important to the creation of so many other companies. As you can see, he invested, or he was a founder of five different organizations. He invested in 40 organizations and mentored so many others. But this is not a privilege of only Argentina. As you can see, we have maps for tech industries and tech um, environments and ecosystems in other places throughout the world. Here is depicted quickly Amman and Jordan. And it's also not specific to the tech industry. Mexico's food and beverage market shows a different picture. CMR was one of the earlier bigger organizations in the late 60s in Mexico. And as you can see, this is very the, the, the very beginning of the ecosystem. Few companies, one that's quite big already in the beginning. Forward that 10 years later, you see Alcia coming as a big player and already some interconnectivity developing in the ecosystem through investment and mentorship. 10 years later, you see the replication of that in the ecosystem and how exponential it becomes. And 10 years later, so many more new organizations in that outer ring that have been influenced by some, a few organizations, but strongly influenced by a few organizations and having a huge impact in the ecosystem in Mexico for the food sector. <clears throat> so we just saw how thriving entrepreneurs and thriving entrepreneurial ecosystem in four different countries, in different industries, based on our five pieces of the puzzle. As you can see, Talent from a few companies supported by mentors and capital creates a successful ecosystems that is built entrepreneur to entrepreneur. And it can be replicated in any city, in any market, in any industry. If we were to build one of our infographics for your hometown, which piece of the puzzle would you be? Thank you. <laughs> 